Police in Altoona say they wouldn't be surprised if the gun used to kill a 15-year-old last week was stolen out of a car in the city. And now Blair County officials uh, are reminding residents to lock up their cars after a string of break-ins. Our Colleen Knudsen spoke with police about this today. She joins us to explain more of their concerns. Colleen? John, Amanda, they're calling this a major problem. Teenagers and young adults are getting their hands on stolen guns and using them to commit crimes. But the message they want you to hear, lock your car and properly store your firearms. Altoona police say 12 guns have been stolen out of unlocked cars in the past year, four of them taken in the past two months. Sergeant Matthew Plummer says the majority of the break-ins are happening in areas where there is less crime and foot traffic. It almost seems that the people residing there feel like they live in a safe neighborhood and that it's okay to leave their vehicles unlocked. However, it seems that these criminals know that that's how they leave their vehicles. Plummer says drivers need to lock their cars no matter where they live or what they're used to doing. I know that some of our older residents maybe grew up leaving vehicles unlocked, but those times have changed. County Sheriff James Ott says not securing your firearm in a safe, as well as not locking up your car, can put guns in the wrong hands. Whether it's an unlocked car, whether you break in, somebody breaks into uh, the vehicle, they're looking for change, they're looking for whatever, and they stumble across the gun. Now they have a gun out on the street that you don't have control of. Now, both Plummer and Ott say it is solely the gun owner's responsibility to know where their firearms is and not let anyone else get to it. In Altoona, I'm Colleen Knudsen, WTAJ News.